Hello! Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Chapin Monsoon, uh, here with an updated tattoo tour slash meaning because there are new ones and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, my first one, which if you haven't seen, go check it out. I'll leave a link up there. Um, did fairly well and it seems that people enjoy it, and now <laughs> that uh, my tattoos are a lot more complete than what they were, some of them, <laughs> some of them, and I have more tattoos, um, I figured I would do an updated tour, and yeah, this is coming two days before my next tattoo appointment, um, so those ones will not be included because I don't have them yet, but I'm getting uh, an additional uh, shining piece on my left leg by my Rick and Morty tattoo, and I'm hoping to get another little big tattoo right here, a little pink heart. I think I mentioned that in my last video, but yeah, aside from that, I think everything is already done. So, uh, yeah, I got my root beer in a Harry Potter cup because I had my monster this morning while I was playing Animal Crossing when I woke up because that's what I do in the morning. I wake up, I clean my house, I sit down for like an hour, maybe two if I'm feeling extra naughty, and I'll play Animal Crossing. I'm currently redoing my village. Um, it used to be all like kawaii and pink and stuff, and don't get me wrong, I love it but I wasn't happy with the way that it was, and I also fell in love with cottagecore on <laughs> Animal Crossing, um, and I'm like, fingers crossing that I'm gonna be able to get a, a Switch Lite um, for Christmas for myself so that I can play Animal Crossing whenever I want and not have to bug my husband and be like, stop playing Smash Bros, I wanna play Animal Crossing. Um, so when I have two account slash island things, I'm gonna have one be the cottage core, which is my main one, and then one be the pink, because I didn't get rid of anything, obviously, I'm just gonna have a cute pink island right off the bat. Uh, but yeah, so Animal Crossing, uh, my root beer, gonna take a bong rip and then we'll get into the tattoos and stuff. We'll go down this way so that it's easier for everyone um, and I'm not jumping around all over the place. So get yourself a bong or a joint or a pipe, whatever, dab. I'm just taking one hit, but I mean you can smoke throughout the whole thing. And we'll get ready so I'm just gonna pack my bowl. Alright, we good? Cheers. Next, moving down, uh, we'll do this one. Let's get started. So, right off the bat, the first ones, aside from the new one that I'll be getting in a uh, few days, are these ones. So I have them on either side. Um, it's just a simple, like, traditional bohemian lotus swirly pattern thing. It's supposed to have, like, dots on the top, one here and like three on the bottom, so I'm probably gonna get those added in um, in a few days as well. But yeah, those are the first face tattoos of a few. I uh, don't plan on going super overboard, I want the light one there, um, a dark one by my eye up here, a dark one there, and then like up here, um, and then like I plan on getting my throat done in the future. I'm only 21 and like I do got years to go unfortunately so I am bracing myself but uh yeah I'm also trying to not do like super super dark ones right in front um right off the bat because like I already have this and like this kind of throws people off for whatever reason um as does like the rest of me but Besides the point, um, I'm trying to save like the darker face tattoos for a few more years down the line. Maybe like I, I want to get them done now. Trust me, but like maybe like 26, 27, um, when I'm done my schooling and have like a solid ability to get a job if and when I feel like it. Cause 
yeah, we make him good money as it is. This is my snake. It is a portrait of my snake as a donut, a uh, donut stack with some marshmallows behind her because her name is Marshall and like her nickname is Marshmallow. Um, I wanted pink frosting like a Homer Simpson donut, but yeah, it's super cute. This is definitely one of my favorite tattoos now. Uh, I got it a few months ago. Um, you can follow my artists. I have two uh, Instagrams down in the description box down below, as well as all of my social media links and websites, so make sure to check that out. Uh, but yeah. Fisticuffs. Finger tattoos. Um, last year this one wasn't colored in, but I have since gotten this one colored in yellow. Um, I'm thinking of doing this one like a teal-ish color, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we'll see. Next we have uh, my completed half sleeve. Um, we have lots of black work all the way back here. I did get my front wrist piece completely revamped. Um, this will be fixed later down the line. I'm just a pussy right now. But yeah, we got Hogwarts and like a moon. We got the sorting hat. And then over here we have a potion bottle. It's supposed to be Felix Felicis, but I didn't want the, uh, what's called, like the label on it. So, uh, yeah, but the, the bottle style is inspired by that. And then we have my Lord of the Rings tattoo which says, now is not the end, it is the beginning. Do not fall even when you have trust in nothing else. It's a quote from Evenstar from the books, uh, translated from English directly to Elvish. I do love Lord of the Rings, but this quote inspires me just to not give up and to always like see the light in things. And it is inspired by Lita Monster Bunny because I love Lita Monster Bunny. Very, very lovely lady. And uh, she definitely helped shape me into who I have become. Um, yeah, that's all like the arms and stuff. If you couldn't tell, this one's like Harry Potter themed, so I'm doing like a full uh, black work, black and white, uh, negative space sleeve themed Harry Potter. So this one is done, and then there will be black work through here, and a white ink mandala in my ditch, and then the rest, like all the way up here through here will be Lord of the Rings stuff. Um, I do have plans for it, but like, I don't want to go through it right now because it's a lot. Um, but yeah, a lot of pain will be going along with that because it's not done. I'm not looking forward to getting this blacked out. Ooh, that even hurt. I'm, yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Uh, next is this one, I guess, because it's right there. Um, this is my spirit animal, which is a wolf, but this is literally just a Google clip art of Wolf in Moon. And it was the first, maybe second image I saw, and I was like, I'm gonna get that, and I got it a few hours later. The artist didn't listen to what I said, uh, I just wanted the outline, because that would have been easier to cover later in life. But she decided to color it in nice and dark, so it looks like that. Um, Moving downwards, uh, in between my boobs, I have a Celtic knot uh, for mother and daughter. Me and my mom have it matching. She has it on her wrist, and I have it completing my sternum piece. I'm not going to uh, show that particular one because it's a little invasive for YouTube, but we can get a look at my sternum piece. So I haven't had any extra work done on my sternum piece um, over the last year, so it is the same. Um, it's a basic moth with the phases of the moon in there and like some leaves and shit. I'm gonna get it colored in with like some jewel tones and I'm gonna do like chains and stuff all the way down through here and shit. I'll figure it out later in life. Um, I've already had my sternum and chest tattooed for like the equivalent of six hours and shit don't feel good so I'd rather like not do it. I'd rather like wait a little bit because this is a, a lot of pain. So I have this little lava lamp tattoo with a skull in it um, with some blue and like purple and pink and red and stuff in there. It's super cute. I like lava lamps so I have a lava lamp tattoo. And to match it on the other side I have a Skyrim dragon, uh, Alduin from Skyrim specifically next to my Ms. Cracker portrait and Ben de la Creme, who's still unfinished and very much fucked up. Still unfinished. Still unfinished. After a year. We're getting there. 
it just takes time. This is my most recent piece, which is a, another drag queen piece inspired by Jackie Cox. This one is actually being colored. Hurts like a motherfucker, by the way. Was not expecting that. And then we got Rick and Morty. Everyone loves Rick and Morty. That's a very popular one on my Instagram and TikTok. Follow me if you don't already. And then finally, we have my honestly personal favorite tattoos right now. My Cinnabunnies, um, inspired by my very own rabbits, uh, Coke and Sage. They are cinnamon buns and rabbits, uh, done by the same person that did this. You can kind of see the the theme. I do have a few more tribute pieces for animals planned. I don't think I'm gonna get my geckos tattooed, but I have plans for my old deceased cat and Teddy, my hedgehog, uh, <laughs> as well as like a fuck ton of other designs. But uh, yeah, that's my current tattoo setup slash meanings. Most of the tattoos I have, I have because I like the thing. <laughs> I have Harry Potter tattoos because I like Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. I have a wolf because I like wolves. Oh, I have one on the back of my neck. I completely forgot. <laughs> so well, that's uh, my baby neck tattoo. Oh my lord, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> um, okay, now that's all of my tattoos. Uh, that I currently have and some ideas and stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed the updated tour um, Please like comment and subscribe for a new video every week. Um, I love you guys Once again check out the description box down below for all of my sites and social medias as well as the social media links to my two artists and uh, Yeah, I think that's about it. So I'm gonna have an outro bong rip as this garbage truck does its thing for the fourth time today. Four times. Doesn't that seem like a lot to you or is that just me? I don't know. Maybe I just get frustrated by the outdoors because I don't <laughs> like car noises and stuff like that. I just want it to shh nature sounds. That's why I want to live in the forest. All right, I got my finishing bong rip. I'm gonna take it with you guys. Um, let's go. One, two, three. Cheers. Okay, that's it. Um, I love you guys. Have a good day. I hope you enjoyed looking at my partially finished tattoos. I'll see you next week. <laughs>